So welcome back, Antoine. Where are you now? Kao Hanui, everybody. And Mave Mai to Ivaoa Island in the Marquesas Archipelago, the northernmost one in French Polynesia. This island is very famous because the French painter Paul Gauguin and the Belgian singer Jacques Brel choose it to end their life. And how is it in Ivaoa? So today we are on the 23rd of February 2016. It's quite hot, almost 32 degrees Celsius with a high rate of humidity. And it's very sunny. More precisely, I'm here on the terrace of a traditional lodge endowed with a wonderful panorama, a large bay surrounded by 1,000 meter mountain peaks. Contrary to Tahiti and Murea Islands, sheltered by lagoons, most of the Marquesas Islands directly undergo the oceanic swell. And this difference can be perceived by the composition of their welcome necklaces. In Tahiti and Murea, they are made of fragrant and smooth flowers, if you well remember the, next, the previous video. And here, necklaces are made of robust seeds. And what's coming next? So tomorrow, we'll go on board on this big boat in the middle of the bay, a catamaran, to reach our final destination, Fatu Uku, which is about 40 kilometers from here. That is to say, three hours by sail. And why are you going to such a remote place? So this remote island, Fatu Uku, contains the most well-developed coral reefs in the Marquesas Archipelago, the Equatorial Archipelago, bathed by warm to hot waters. And what will you do there? So we'll check the coral reef health, generically, and more specifically, we'll check whether the third global coral bleaching event has occurred or is occurring in this place. The, this bleaching results from the combination of the strong El Nino event and the global warming. And how do you monitor the coral reef health and, and bleaching? So based on the European Space Agency initiative, we plan to monitor the coral reef health, including its bleaching, using a state-of-the-art space-borne sensor, which is called Sentinel-2. It's a high spatial resolution instrument provided with 13 spectral bands. But for that, we need some ground truth data to calibrate and validate the Sentinel-2 imagery. That's why we, we've designed this, trans, this portable structure provided with a wide-angle underwater video camera to collect bottom images, RGB still images, a coastal eco sounder to collect the water depth soundings, and a side scan sonar to collect the structural complexity of the bottom. So see you in the next episode in Fatuuku.